to Think With Worms. It's me, Gabby, from TNBlog.com, and you are watching another book review. <laughs> All right, guys, so today the book that I'm reviewing is called Tea Spiration. Here it is by Luann Panunzio. Now, Luann, I apologize in advance if I'm completely butchering your name. Um, I've only seen your name written, and I just realized that even though we've spoke, spoken, we've spoken via email, so I didn't really get a chance to hear your name said aloud, but I apologize if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. Um, Panunzio is spelled P-A-N-N-U-N-Z-I-O, so if you, T. Sipping Bookworm, know exactly how to pronounce this particular name, then just let me know. Kind of try to spell it phonetically, I guess, in the comments. So, Teaspiration by Luann Panunzio. This is a book written about tea for those who love tea uh, a lot or a little and those who want to be inspired by tea. I don't understand how you can't be inspired by just simply sipping tea, but um, if you need a little help, you need to read this book. Now, Luann Panunzio, she is a new author. This is her first publication, her first book. Uh, published, but she's been writing for a very long time, ever since she was a child, and also on her blog, theteacupoflife.com. And I absolutely love her blog. I'm a subscriber. Um, yeah, she's a fellow tea blogger like myself, so it's no, no, um, no surprise that I love her book. So the reason why I seem to know a lot about Luann is because I was, I was also able to perform a blog view with Luann Panunzio entitled Simply Inspired because this book is really simply inspiring. So um, in that blog view, I was able to ask Luann uh, questions about her writing experience, her writing style, what she intended, um, you know, the overall experience that she intended for readers to have with her book, and a little bit, you know, of an insider knowledge about why she decided to put particular things in her book. So you, after this, uh, this uh, book review, you'll want to run over it and check out the post entitled Simply Inspired, a blog view with Luann Panunzio from teacupoflife.com. So you know how I like to do my book reviews. I really don't want to give you a summary of the book. You know, I read the back of the book, but I don't want to tell you too much about the book because I want you to have your own experience also. But here we go. Let me read the back. We all know tea is good for your health, but one of the most potent powers of tea is that of healing the mind and spirit. Sipping a warm cup of chamomile, mint, or green tea fills you with serenity, not to mention immunity-boosting antioxidants. Award-winning blogger of The Cup of Life, Luann Panunzio, uplifts and inspires in a way that does more than just telling a story about tea and its history. Similar to life, she points out that tea is about the little things. Each page is filled with mindfulness moments, big and small, that tea provides us. And encouragement to slow down and enjoy life every day. Author and tea aficionado Panunzio reminds us that all you really need is a cup, water, and some leaves to create your own wonderfully meditative tea experience. Filled with tips, tea lore, and inspired ideas, Tea Spiration offers a cup of calm, deep comfort, and an escape from the daily grind. Much wisdom can come from one small cup of tea. This is so true. This is the reason why I like to read the back of the of the books, you know, the summaries of the books, because it just explains the book much more, much better, I should say, than I could explain it. So, what did I enjoy about this book? Well, I enjoyed exactly what the writer, Luann Panunzio, intended. I enjoyed the simplicity of it all. Whenever I started reading this book, I was inside of the bathtub, I was soaking in the bathtub and I'm rolling my eyes because my husband and I have been in this house for two years, like a little over two years even, and I've never taken a bubble bath. And this one day that I decided to read this book, that's when I take a, bu a bubble bath. And so like, I'm just rolling my eyes because like not my normal thing. <laughs> but anyways, so I was taking a bubble bath and I was reading the book and then I got to page 25. And it says, well, Luann Panunzio says to us all, why don't you put the kettle on, pick out your favorite cup of tea, and flip the page. Let's get steeping, sipping, and reading. And I was like, I don't have my tea. And my kettle's not on, so I felt like I couldn't continue the book. So what I did 
is I said, you know what, I'm going to save it for tomorrow morning. I'm going to wake up and the first thing I'm going to do is make a pot of tea. I actually made a pot of this tea that's sitting back here on um, this table. Um, that, that This tea is Rwanda Rukeri tea. I actually have done a review on this tea, so you'll want to check that review out. You also can win the tea for free if you subscribe to teaandblog.com. Um, so I made a pot of this tea. And I was thinking to myself, you know what, it would be really cool to see which one I finished first, the pot or the book. Well, I ended up finishing the book first because it was such a good read that I was, you know how something's so good, you just take minimal sips in between because you're trying not to be distracted. This book was really good. It really took me back to a simple, to the time of simplicity when it came to tea sipping. And I really enjoyed that because as a tea blogger myself of tea and literature, as a tea enthusiast, you're always learning so much about tea. And you're never going to go back to the time when you didn't know as much. Um, and you don't necessarily want to go back to that time or stay in that time, I should say. But to revisit that time when things were much more simple and when your steeping process and everything about tea was much more simple, that can be delightful. And I found it very delightful that Luen Panunzio was able to take me and I'm sure other readers back to the moment when they first had tea. She talks about the moment she first had tea and it's so reminiscent of our moments that it was very relatable. I love her writing style because even though she's not a seasoned author, you could say, um, this is her first publication, she has a, such a personal writing style um, that you can relate and kind of grasp on to, just grasp onto each page personally, which draws you in to keep turning the page. So I really hope that she writes some more literature about tea, especially since her, the way she writes is relatable, not just to tea enthusiasts, um, you know, tea educators, but to just people who maybe just, if you're getting into tea, if you're just not getting into tea, this would be a wonderful book for you, just as well as if you were a tea enthusiast like herself or like me. So um, that's the reason why I liked the book. It took me back to a simple time. It was really personal. I was able to personally relate. And I was able to really just get into this book and be inspired. And that's, you know, it's no wonder that I was inspired because that's the title of the book, Teaspiration. But it was just really inspiring in a simple, clean, focused way. And I really liked that. So those are the reasons why you should read this book too. You know, I don't want to give too much away. Um, maybe I can share with you some of the parts that I really liked. Um, like for example, on page <laughs> on page 24, Luann talks about all five senses um, when she's engaging tea sipping. She talks about seeing, smelling, hearing, feeling, and tasting. And you know, here at TNVlog.com, I like to talk about the, the hue, the scent, and the sip of the tea. But Luann goes further and she talks about even hearing the tea, which could be very delightful and um, satisfying, as well as, of course, seeing the tea, which I talk about that. I talk about the hue. Um, but even feeling. You know, sometimes I I pick up the leaves and I just feel them in my hands because that is an experience also. And feeling the warmth of the cup that's so simple. Everybody can enjoy that. You don't have to be an, a tea educator to enjoy that. So I really did enjoy this book. I don't want to give too much away. I want you to be able to purchase the book yourself and then let me know what you think. Um, I will share one more thing though. Luann and I share a common belief. Um, that I feel the need to share with you right now. Um, in the beginning of the book, she talks about how she went to, uh, I believe it was the Canadian Tea Festival. Uh, now I'm trying to figure out. I think it was the Canadian Tea. Yeah, Canadian Tea Festival. Or, yeah, something like that. She went to some type of tea festival, and I think it was in Canada. But she kept, you know, she was walking around and she kept hearing people ask the vendors, you know, what is this tea for? Can this tea help me lose weight? And can this tea help me this, this way, this way, that way? And she said when writing this book, she wanted the reader to forget about those types of thoughts. And she wants the reader to go back to a time when you sipped tea because you liked it, not because it gave you something or it helped you lose weight. And that's really important because 
she mentions, in, you know, well, actually, no, she didn't mention in the book. I think she mentioned in our blog view that no kid starts to drink tea because they're trying to lose weight. And, and usually a lot of us have experience with tea when we're younger, you know, when we're not worried about weight. So um, just throughout the entire book, she takes the reader and, and reminds the reader to just take it back, take it to the most simple of times, go back to your first sip of tea, enjoy tea for the way it is, um, and just try to go back to the basics and stay there every now and then and slow down as you do it. And I really enjoyed this book. I will be picking up this book every now and then. It's so cute and small. It fits perfectly on my tea tray. I will be picking up this book every now and then just for inspiration. Um, one last thing I want to share with you in the back of the book, there's 24 hours of inspiration and there's um, literally for every hour there in a, in a 24 hour period, there are inspirational words. So I really do think that you will enjoy this book. It's a beautiful book. You can get the book on Amazon. That's where I got my copy. Um, I'll put the links below. Uh, if you read this book, let me know what you thought about it below. Let me know how you were able to relate or what your experience was. Did you finish this book over a pot of tea like I did or did you spread out the reading? Well, that is my review, my book review on tea inspiration. Make sure you subscribe to tnblog.com, guys, because, well, I'm giving away free stuff. I'm always giving away free stuff. And the only way to get the free stuff is if you subscribe directly to tnblog.com. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel, but it's subscribing to tnblog.com that will get you uh, automatically entered to win any free stuff that I give away here on tnblog.com. Be sure to also follow at tnblog on Instagram, Twitter, you know, all of those social media sites. And be sure to also like TM Blog Facebook page because it gets really lonely without your likes, guys. If you like this page and you want to see more content regarding tea and literature, then support the page. You can support the page directly from the YouTube page or you can go to tmblog.com and you can donate there. Whichever amount you would like to donate, I would be appreciative. I will not shun your donation. I, like, I'm not going to be rude and say, oh my goodness, you only gave a billion bucks. <laughs> if you want to give a billion bucks, go ahead. Like, be my guest. Well, guys, make sure you like this video if you like this video. Um, and I believe that's all I have to say. That is tea ends, guys. And until next time, may you continue to sip happily, happily I can't talk, happily ever after.